Hello, uh, welcome to Vox Board. We, do, we, we did an unboxing of this a couple of weeks ago and I actually want to uh, just do a review of it. It's been a really nice little game. It's um, called Deadwood 1876, came out in Kickstarter. It's awesome. So, basic premise is you are trying to rob a town uh, or rob some banks and get some safes and you're bad guys. So, plays from two to nine players. It is fast, it is fun, it's got a lot of a lot of elements to it that are really clear, really simple, but really cool. Um, and I love it. So it plays in about 20, 20 minutes to 40 minutes, um, and it's great. So um, basically what you do, you get some of these little maples representing your characters, you put them in a bag and you bring them out and you place the, and they get placed sort of as they come out of the bag in specific places like so. Uh, whenever you're playing with five characters, you can have two people per establishment. You play, uh, you're given uh, some cards to play with. So the first thing you're given is a set of, you're given two safes that you've managed to get from the, the bank. The aim is to get as much gold as possible at the end of the game. Really sort of straightforward kind of idea. Uh, so, oh, I've got a few bits that have went to the wrong bit. So, and these can be, so you get some, there's all kinds of stuff in here. And basically there's three different levels, actually, whoops, uh, there's three some silver ones which are the advanced, let's keep the fairly basic ones. Three different kind of um, cards that you can get in your safe. You can get weapons which you can use in a shootout at the end. You can get gold which contributes to whether or not you go to the end. And you can get badges which give you an extra go in the fourth round. And that's kind of the principle of it. And there's a rat in there as well which is worth nothing. So you don't know what the other guys have got. They don't know what you've got. And basically you've got those sitting in front of you. And you also put three cards into the centre. And these get uh, played for as the game goes on. So basically what happens is uh, you can only ever have three safes in front of you. You get dealt four cards. And four cards are weapons. They've got corresponding dice. And they've also got some special abilities underneath, and we won't go into those at this point. So I've got two options I can have for my, for my action. Whenever it comes to my turn, I can roll, try and steal somebody's uh, safe. And to do that, I play a card, and the opponent plays a card to defend. So I might play a Winchester, they may play a Derringer. The Winchester has got a brown dice, the Derringer has got an orange dice. So we end up having a dice of and the, Dar the Winchester wins, so I pull out, I pull off the safe that I chose at the beginning. Um, so that's basically it. I can also have a duel where I try to swap with somebody's friends, so I may try and swap the red into the purple, and if I win it, I get to move. If I don't win it, I don't get to move. Um, and the other option is I can play the sort of special powers at the end um, as well, which is quite nice. At the end of the round, uh, or sorry, at the end of the um, round, yeah, when everybody's had to go, you flip over um, a safe and everybody competes for it to see whether they, they're going to go for it or not. And uh, basically you um, try to, and you may end up going, you, if you go for it, you basically can win that as, your, as one of your safes. Now, so what happens next is, at the end, after everybody's gone through, after all these have gone through, there's one more round and the copper badges come out, or the, the different badges come out, and the people with the badge in their safe can have an extra round and can grab things like that. And then once that round's played, everybody um, then um, basically counts up their gold. So I don't know what's in here. So there's one gold dust, two gold dust, so, and basically the establishment with the most gold goes through. So, that's, for, now it gets interesting. Say these two guys are left. They now 
can play, they now have a shootout using the, um, the cards um, that were Deadwood cards, so they might have something like that, Colt versus Colt. Um, but also they are allowed to use the weapons um, that they had at the start, as uh, any weapons that were there. So, for instance, somebody might be having have you know something like a um, extra gun um, that they can use for the, the shootout. So, I'm just trying to find one. So, they may have you know something like a derringer. The white, you would particularly worry about that. I don't know. Um, so, they might have darring So, they've got another gun that they can use in the shootout. And whoever wins the shootout wins the game. If you've got, if you're in an establishment your own and you've got the most gold, you win the game. So um, it's it's a, you know, it, it's very simple. So there's an element of do I trust people? You can work in teams, you can communicate. There's all kinds of different options that you can have. Um, but basically, at its core, um, it's a really quick little game that is fun. Uh, that is, you can get a couple of games in very easily in an evening. Um, and what I find is that people who don't normally play, people pick it up very quickly and people who normally don't play board games or tabletop actually find it quite accessible. Um, in terms of marks out of five, I would say this is a four. Um, it's a little bit, it's not, it's not going to, you know, it's, it's a great warm up game. It's a great warm up game. But I wouldn't say it's my main game, but it's a great game to have on my shelf. And I would pull it out every now and again and get and get it on the table um, whenever whenever the, you know I've got a, a good bunch. Having played it with um, small grips and bigger grips, um, it's not great as a two-player game. It's okay. It really comes alive whenever you get um, maybe three up to nine players. It needs a few more players to get it going. I've seen it played with, I've played it with six people and it was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. And a lot of fun. And um, yeah, it's it's really good. So I would say four out of five, maybe four and a half. Um, but in terms of a social game, it's great. Absolutely great little game. Um, highly recommend it. Whenever this comes out to dis distributors, if you're watching this as somebody who, who runs a shop, um, our friendly little game stores, they, this is going to be good, this is going to be good. It sells itself because of the magnetised box as well, people like that. It's one of the first things people comment on whenever they see it. Um, and once you get them playing it, it's really nice. And there's not an awful lot of games like it out there with that sort of bluffing, um, working in a group together, but tr do you trust people, do you not trust people? There's, there's, there's a lot of sort of components to it and it can be played a lot of different ways, which is quite nice. So yeah, thank you for watching and um, please don't forget to, to subscribe um, and like and share.